guys, welcome to the WeChat Developer Integration Tutorial, video 1. This video will cover the setup of a WeChat official account for use in developer mode. And it will also show you how to do a basic text automated response. So you can basically start playing with the, the platform. So first of all, we go to admin.wechat.com. Um, so you know there will be a basic few things that you'll need. You'll need in the official account. Uh, this you can set up with WeChat themselves, and then also you get access. You need access to your own web server. So once you receive these official account uh, account login details, you can log in over here. Um, just logging into a test account, and then once you're logged in, it'll pop up with a little flash notice that you'll see. Up the top, I'm just saying you're not allowed to do any porn uh, fraud or anything depicting violence. Basically, just read through that and make sure you agree to that. Just gonna go get straight into the advanced section of it and go from there. In a, an official account, there's two modes the one is the edit mode, which you can use for basic automated responses. But then again, the one we're going to focus on, the one that's active right now, is the developer mode. This allows you to really integrate and, and pull in all the content from your services, from your site, as you would like it to be. So the first thing is you need to switch developer mode to on. When you just come in, this you might not be a registered admin platform developer. All you need to go do is click register, fill in some details and then the screen will come up. So what you want to do is head off to the interface config, click on edit. Then over here is the URL that WeChat will be eating. So if someone goes onto the WeChat app, they do start following your account and they send a text message in. This is the URL that will effectively receive that input from the client you'll do some sort of processing and then that will forward be forwarded on to the WeChat interface so the URL I'm using is a test account so looking for that just make sure you've got the full URL and I'm gonna go for responder.php that's the language we're using for this demo. I mean, WeChat doesn't care what language you're coding in as long as the response is XML. So we take the URL. We also pass in a token. Now, this is your own token that you make up. This is the one place that you'll enter it. Uh, the second place will be inside your code. So this would be used to, to encode the responses between the two servers. Um, for now, we'll just do a simple one. We'll do a test one, two, three token. Uh, if you click here, what is a token? That'll also take you through to the messaging API, giving you more information on the actual token and what it does. Before we submit this, going back to the documentation, you'll see what it says. When the application is submitted, a GET request will be sent to the URL provided above with the four parameters below. Signature, timestamp, no ones, and echo string. You should check whether the HP request is from WeChat by verifying the signature. We'll do that now. And if that is correct, all this is is to protect your application from being DDoS attacked or even someone stealing the information that's actually contained within your API. So it's just another protection layer. And all it does there is ensures that the request is really coming from WeChat. The way it does that is by us filling in this special token which is currently test123 which no one else knows only WeChat and you do so we'll we'll do a little check you'll see in our code so going to the file you'll see that they saying that we should sort the three values of the token time span no one's alphabetically so what I've done here is I've set the first value as our I set the first value as our token. All this means is 
we're just hard coding this effectively into the data. You'll see I'm creating an array here. So next value is just taking in this timestamp, third value taking the what no ones. And then it does a little sort on the array to sort it as they're saying we should sort the three values of token timestamp and no ones alphabetically. Combine the three parameters into one string and encrypt it using SSRA1. Over here, we are combining it into one string. And over here, when we do the check, we do the SSRA1 encoding. Then we do a little compare to the signature that gets passed through from WeChat. If all this matches up, that means that the request came from WeChat and we're ready to proceed. If it's not, you can always build in a little extra piece here that says die you are not supposed to be here so what it then does it goes in and echoes out the echo string so this all happens in that moment when you click submit over here click submit and it'll get to here and it'll echo out the echo string and then WeChat will know cool you're checking all the right values so now we're ready to submit this to WeChat. Um, but before we do, let's just change the token value of a year and make it to be a different value than what we've got in our script and just see what WeChat says about that. Let's submit that. So WeChat responds and says, your server has not responded to token verification the correct way. Please read message interface instruction for details. What this means is that this token is not matching up to the token in my code. Right, so let's go back to the code and have a look there and let's change this to be something a little bit more secure, which is something we also recommend. Testing one, two, three or one, two, three, four or just password is just a bad idea. So let's change this to be something a little bit more secure. Use uppercase, lowercase, numbers, um, I've tried special characters, which it does not seem to allow. So for now, I'll just stick to uppercase, lowercase. So we're gonna make that our new token. I'm going to save that. And go back to token verification. And now we're gonna submit this again and see what WeChat says. WeChat says request URL timed out. So the best way to test this is to actually copy the URL and open it up in your browser, paste it in there and just make sure that it is actually responding or the file actually exists. So we'll have a look at that. So going to the URL you'll see that it says responder.php was not found on the server. So let's upload the file and then see what WeChat says. Uploaded the file. Now we're going to check if it responds in the way that we were expecting. Going into the URL, it's going to say you are not supposed to be here, as we did put in our script in the else if it does not authenticate against the signature, then it will give you you're not supposed to be here, which is perfect. So let's now go ahead. And submit that to WeChat. Submitted, great success. So everything worked. It ran through. It's now saying I complete responded.php, and it has this token that we are now using. This now means you finish the first part of your developer integration. Um, the next step and next video will build on this and will show you how to receive a basic text response from WeChat as when someone sends it into the official account. It will also show you how to respond to that timelessly in order for WeChat to return the response to the user. We'll also go a little bit into debugging. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.